On November 2nd, Mainers will head to the polls to vote on lo local and state ballot measures. The highest profile ballot issue is question one, which focuses on the controversial hydropower transmission corridor project. According to Ballotpedia, as of early September, supporters of the measure had spent more than $7.4 million. Those who oppose it have spent more than $34 million. Here's New Center Maine's Hannah Deneen with a breakdown of what this question means. When Mainers receive their ballots in 2021, question one will read, do you want to ban the construction of high impact electric transmission lines in the upper Kennebec region and to require the legislature to approve all other such projects anywhere in Maine, both retroactively to 2020 and to require the legislature retroactively to 2014 to approve by a two thirds vote such projects using public land. The referendum question was initiated by citizens who collected more than 80,000 signatures, sending the law proposal to the state legislature. In this case, the state legislature did not act on the measure and sent it to our statewide ballots this November for voters to decide. The question stems from opposition to the New England Clean Energy Connect, or NECEC, a proposed hydropower project stretching from the main Quebec border to New Hampshire. In short, a yes vote on question one supports the initiative. It would block the construction of electric transmission lines defined as high impact in the upper Kennebec region, including the NECEC. It would also require the state legislature to approve high impact electric transmission line projects through a two thirds majority vote. A no vote on question one opposes the initiative. It would allow the NECEC project to continue construction and it means the state legislature would not be required to approve high impact electric transmission line projects moving forward. Permits have already been approved for the project and construction is underway. But because this question includes a need for retroactive approval, if the yes campaign wins, the legislature would have to vote by a two thirds majority to approve the NECEC and other similar projects which have passed in the last seven years. You can make your voice heard at the polls on November 2nd or request your absentee ballots now. I'm Hannah Deneen, News Center, Maine. There is another part of this issue that's playing out in the courts. A judge ruled last month that the Bureau of Public Lands violated the Constitution when it issued permits in 2014 and again in 2020 to allow CMP to lease a mile of public land for the corridor. That decision has been appealed by the company.